In this video, we are going to be looking at another upcoming major storm to bring a bunch of snowfall to the west and possibly some severe weather. Now, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you aren't new to the channel so you won't miss another upload or live stream on the channel. All right, here's the future reflectivity. We're looking at the GFS model right now. And this is going to be valid for around Friday of the October 22nd. So this is only going to be around five days from now about the end of this week so let's go ahead and move forward here uh throughout the next few days and you can see some heavy rainfall hitting portions of the northern california uh pretty much all of oregon uh washington is getting into some of that rainfall there and idaho should see a little bit of rainfall possibly snowfall more the southern and central part of the states you may see a little bit of snowfall there but there's that main system that comes in it kind of spawns right over montana and wyoming and you can see a bit of snow there over there in in uh, Idaho and also a bunch of rainfall over there in uh, California, Oregon, Washington again, where you typically see a bunch of rainfall in those fall and winter months. Let's go ahead and move forward here. And as you can see, we're seeing a lot of snowfall now around the 25th. This is going to be around Monday of the 25th or about late Sunday into Monday. You're going to see some of that snowfall. And then that low pressure system starts to move north into the Dakotas, bring some possible severe weather to portions of the central U.S., over there in Nebraska. And again, this is going to be super late. Uh, Sunday into Monday, you're going to possibly see some severe weather over there in Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa. Uh, Missouri could possibly see some strong storms from this. But of course, this is going to be a week out. So things are going to change here. But this is, gives you a typical idea of what could uh, be coming soon. As you can see, some more snowfall around October 26 around the western states. More of those mountainous areas, you're going to see more of that snowfall, of course. And then we get kind of a warm trough that's uh, moving into the western United States. And then we get more of a cooler trough and possibly some more heavy rainfall and possibly severe weather down in the south around October 27th. Uh, this is we're getting around 10 days out now, so it's pretty far out. Um, but we are seeing definitely some possibly strong storms around the 27th as well. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. As you can see, we could possibly see some strong storms over there in the mid-Atlantic states as well. So we have a lot to uh, coming forward here, especially for the second half of October. And especially the end of October, where we could see a pretty big rain event over there in the eastern United States. Let's go ahead and look at your total snowfall amounts from this system. All right, so here is your total snowfall amounts, and this is for the western United States, even into portions of South Dakota. As you can see, we are seeing most snowfall in this typical region where those very high elevations are. You're, the more elevation you're going to have, the more snowfall you're going to have. So uh, the max, we have 72 inches, which is going to be in california here it could be up here in canada uh but as you can see we are seeing a bunch of snowfall over here in these like california mountains and that's where you're going to see the most snowfall from the system and as you can see we are seeing a lot of snowfall over here in these tall mountains again uh, you're going to see more snowfall the more elevation you do have so you're going to see about 40 inches of snowfall on the very high mountain top on more of these types of mountains over there in Colorado, Wyoming, and those kinds of states. But more at the ground level, you're going to see only around 1 to 3 inches of snowfall. So you're still going to see a very decent amount of snowfall, but you're not going to see as much as those more high elevations. But more of those high elevations, you're going to see upwards of uh, 25 to possibly 32 inches of snowfall. So you're talking pretty big amounts of snowfall here. For those higher elevations over here in idaho you're going to see upwards of four to five inches of snowfall and more of those bases and more of those lower ground levels so definitely you're going to see a very decent amount of snowfall if you are living at a more lower elevation than those higher elevations in this typical area in montana uh and even over here in Nevada, you can see upwards of three to five inches of snowfall and more of a lower elevation. If you did enjoy the update on this upcoming system and want more updates on this upcoming large system that's going to impact pretty much the most of the northern United States here, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss another update or live stream on the channel. And also make sure to share this with any friends or family that may be impacted by this upcoming storm as it is definitely going to bring some impacts, especially the eastern U.S., possibly some pretty nice pretty bad flooding in spots over in the mid-atlantic but anyways stay safe